Hi guys! In this video we'll be doing this tiny bakery dollhouse scene. I made this pretty small but you can make it bigger if you want to. To start out I made a sketch to see the size I want of my room and then I made a stencil for the sides, tops and bottom and back and front piece. I use some recycled cardstock to cut up my pieces, but if you make your room bigger you might want to use something more sturdy. Then you want to start gluing your pieces together, except for the front piece, and make a little box. On the front piece I sketched on a few windows and a door and then used my X-Acto knife to cut them out. Then I cut out a piece of cardstock for a door and a few panels and glued these on for a more three-dimensional effect. Then I used acrylic paint to paint it. After laying down a base color, I went in with a slightly darker shade to add some detail. And here's the front so far. Then I used some recycled plastic from packaging to add windows. Now we can start working on the inside of the bakery, starting with paint. I painted some thin strip with a curd stock and glued these info panels. To make a little bakery counter, I cut out pieces of cardstock like this and glued them together in a little stair shape. After a bit of acrylic paint, I went back to the clear packaging and used some pieces of this to make the display. Now we're gonna make some tiny baked goods using polymer clay. I started by making some tiny cupcakes, and I used my basic sculpting tools as my X-Acto knife, dotting tools and needle tools. Once you have your cupcake bases done, you want to pre-bake them for about 1 or 2 minutes just to harden so you can hold them. Then you want to add a tiny drop of liquid clay to the top of the base before working on some low-colored clay. And that's our cupcakes. Now you want to bake them completely, again just for a few minutes, and then glue them on a base. To add some icing on top, I used a bit of white acrylic paint. Then I made some tiny cookies, which I flattened with a dotting tool, before adding a bit of shading with some chalk pastel and painting on the chocolate chip using acrylic paint. Finally, I also made some donuts. The 
and finish the baked goods with a bit of glaze and glue them to the bakery stand. To add some more detail to the room, I also used acrylic paint on paper to paint some signs. Then you're ready to glue everything in place. Finally, I glued on a piece of ribbon to the side as a simple hinge to attach the front. And then we're done! I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see me make other little dollhouse setup like this, just let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching, hit the like button if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in a new one real soon, bye!